today we're going to be racing the train against our speed boats. We're on the steam train, me and Rob. And those boys are going to get there by boat. And we're going to race them from Douglas to Castletown. We're away. Those boys have just crashed. <laughs> this railway was opened in 1874, connecting Douglas to Port Erin. And the train boasts a speed of around 40 miles an hour. What's going on with those boys? It was looking like this would be a pleasant journey on the train, but the boats were already encountering problems. What's wrong? Those waves are massive over there. We just left Douglas Harbour. Those boys are stuck because the Johnson's not working. But Jesus Christ, there's some swell there. Jesus. I'm getting away from that wave. I don't know where Mum or Alex are. There they are. They need the four horse. They need the four horse. Yeah, they need it. The four horse is never making this. Those waves look hefty there, like. Way too ruthless for the four and way too ruthless for the green out there. So, may as well get them over. As the boats struggled to leave the harbour, the train was already halfway to its destination of Castletown. So we've got the 15 onto the red and now we're leaving Douglas Harbour into the ruthless waves. Let's go. Heat up, the boys. Heat up. We're about to get brutalised by these waves. We had finally made it out into the waves as the train was making its way into the station at Castletown. Oh my god, where the fuck are they? And are they alive? I think this might be turning around while they're made. Bro, this is fucked. Where are they? Where are they? I'll get them on the phone. Get them on the phone. Get them on the phone, we'll get back in the bay. I can't see them anywhere. Look at those waves behind us. The race was over before it began, but thankfully the next day, the boats would have a chance to redeem themselves in a race against the electric railway. Only. This is a case of OYZ being sensible. Those waves were too ruthless. We don't know where Alex and Mum are. Hopefully that, there they are. Let's go and have a word with them. I think it's turning around, brother. Those waves are absolutely ruthless. There's huge cresting waves over there. Look like that. these weren't even white horses. Yeah, this might not be the one. No, come on. Come Back on the side. Yeah. Are you say? Are you making the decision, absolutely. Dad? Dad's making the call. Dad's made the call. Way too ruthless today. Looks like it's just train to Castletown. We ran out to sea. Swells the waves. Way too much. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. We're gonna get the train. Where are we going to? Castletown. Going to Castletown. Choo choo! Choo choo! <laughs> Before tomorrow's race, we had an explore around Castletown and visited Castle Russian to take in some of this beautiful island's history. They got the old walkers talkers on. Don't think that's factually correct, but historically accurate. <laughs> Wait. I can't believe someone's eaten all the Terry's chocolate orange. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Son. Or was it you, Zod? <laughs> we headed back to Douglas to fish and get an early night in preparation for the race to Laxey, which would be followed by a ride up Snay Fell. Today, we've split into two teams to race to Laxey. Cobbo and I are taking the boat and the other boys are getting the electric train and we're gonna see who can get there fastest. With the boys in the harbour ready to go, we raced across Douglas on our longboards to the electric railway. Douglas, this is Red Inflatable Boat, permission to leave the harbour. All clear, received and understood, thank you.
arrived at the railway to find a truck had hit one of the lines, putting it out of service. So, without telling the boat, the race would continue in the car. On the way to Laxey, we passed the stopped train, filled with disgruntled passengers. We're approaching Laxey Bay now, and we haven't been very long at all, so it's possible that we might even have won the race. We're almost into Laxey Beach, and there's no sign of the boys that we can see. It's on the boys! It's on the boys! We're in this race! T1, T1, T1! I'm proud of Team 1. I think if these boys had gone on the tram, then we would have won. So, success even though we lost. Team 1. The races were over, but the day was not, as we set off up Snaefell on the tram. And we planned to rock pool at Old Laxey Beach afterwards. The protein flavoured, rum and raisin, <laughs> ice cream. Got to get your protein intake for the day. We're about to get on the tram to go up to the top of Snaefell, aren't we, Dad? We are. What kind of ice Looking cream is that? Trip. Cappuccino. Cappuccino ice cream. Gato. Outside your zone. The driver just said outside your zone. Outside your zone. Get in. It's the largest working water wheel in the world. What do you think of that egg? Lovely bit of scaffolding. That's the best scaffolding we've seen so far. As we came up Snaefell, the mist descended, making it impossible to see the Seven Kingdoms. We arrived at the top with very little to see, so we had some lunch and made our way back down the mountain. It's so misty that the lights have just come on. Can't see me. Right, we're off the tram, Hello. and these boys are going to skate down to Old Laxey. Yeah, there. Arriving back at the station, Rob, Tom and I skated down to the beach for rock pooling. found the first crab of the holiday and we're going to put him in there so he can chill out. He doesn't want to leave me. Come on bro. He's probably a bit scared like. Oh, you can get under that rock. Mint, look at the size of this one. <laughs> He's tiny. Potted. Catch of the day. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Catch of the holiday. Did anyone else see that? Get the drone up. Whilst rock pooling, Rob spotted some wildlife swimming through the bay. It's there, it's there. You can see it just under the water. There it is. Two. Whoa! That was right underneath the drone. Seeing the dolphins was a truly magical experience and we happily called it a day at the beach. If you enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.